Hey guys, Danielle here. I am doing a solo playthrough of Welcome to the Moon. This is adventure number six, so definitely this is a spoiler if you are going through the campaign. Um, I don't want you to... Um, well, hopefully you saw the title of the video and noticed that it was a spoiler. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is Adventure 6. I've been going through the solo campaign. And uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. And I have to say this is probably the more complicated one so far. So I um, decided that I'm going to tackle this playthrough. And hopefully I get these uh, these rules right. Um, I feel like so far, you know, I haven't seen the rest of them. I, I literally just got to this campaign, read through the rules. Um, but hopefully I am going to be able to um, portray it the way it should be played. And if, if not, forgive me. Um, the rules were okay. Uh, I think that it could stand to have some more examples, especially when it comes to um, dealing with uh, propagation of the virus. Um, but anyway, uh, I won't talk any further about how to play, only because there's some great videos on how to play the standard game of this. Um, but I'll talk through how um, to play with this specific you know, adventure. I am using Franklin. He's a level 4. Just so you know. So it's going to be hard. I don't anticipate winning. And then this is the um, the card that belongs to the adventure number 6, which matches... Um, the symbol here on the top left. So this is a close view of the board itself. And I've got everything set up already. Um, so when you set up the, the sheet, um, you'll have to mark off one of the empty virus circles. So here's one, here's another, and then here's an, uh, no, that's not one. So it's one, two, three, four. There's four spots. And not all players need to do it in the same spot. Of course, it's a solo playthrough, so regardless, I'm just going to pick where I'm going to um, mark the virus. And then anytime you activate a virus by circling, you have to make a mark or scribble one of the, um, the spots in the house. I think they call it houses here or something. Anyway, I scribbled that out. So um, when you fill these out, you look at them in zones. So one zone, two zones, three zones four and five. Of course you have to do it in ascending order from left to right like this. Okay. And then um yeah I think I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and, and go for it. Um let me see if this lighting is better. Is that better? Yeah I think so. I don't know if you like the yellow glow. Um maybe you guys did let's see. Uh I prefer this one. You guys let me know what you guys think <laughs> but all right, let's get started. I'm going to flip over my first three cards. Huh. So, regardless of the numbers, I'll explain what um, this energy does. The purple energies allow you to circle a purple energy on any of these um, quarters here. They call them quarters. And in each quarter, they have... Um, multipliers which will be the energy symbols so there's three the first one is um circled for each quarter but whenever you use an energy symbol that action allows you to circle one energy in any quarter so you get to do that with the um what is that icon I forget oh yeah the planning which is this pink icon the planning action allows you to you know mark the number you normally would have marked but the action allows you to put an X somewhere on the board. So when you place an X, sorry, I'm looking off to the side. When you place an X, you also cross off um, one of the icons here that belongs to the planning action. Once you cross off two, you can automatically gain. So you circle a wild action, which can be used later if you want in, a, in replacement of the action you would have taken on that turn. And the plant allows you to circle a plant that's in that quarter. So not all the quarters have um, two plants. Some of them just have one. So be mindful of that when you're placing your number. But as long as you place, um, you write your number in any of the spots within that quarter, you can do it. Um, we don't see it here in these three cards, but the water symbol is very specific to the space that you write in. So the water symbol requires you to actually write the number in that specific space so that you can circle the water symbol. 
All right, so um, the astronaut symbol allows you to, to manipulate the number from negative 2, negative 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. Um, so you could, you know, modify your, your value like that. And then if, uh, after, after that, you can mark off a astronaut symbol. And every two astronaut symbols that you mark, you gain a wild action similar to the planning action. Um, am I forgetting anything here? I don't think so. The virus will be interesting. Um, again, you activate a virus by circling it. And the virus can only be activated once per turn. Um, and once a virus is activated, you propagate. Um, and that's kind of in the later phase. So let's just continue playing here. And uh, we should be good to go. Let's see. Um, so I think I will start off with a number. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, with a uh, eight. Kind of like is it's, that's kind of like the center number. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I were to put an eight here, it might work out. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Write eight down, and then the action I'm going to choose will be. I think I'll choose the leaf, so like a circle of plant. So that means Astra will gain this card, and for every energy card that it gains, it unfortunately will gain six points. So I want to try not to do that next time. Um, and let's see here. Oh, I do have these missions cho uh, chosen as well um, for A, B, C, and just I guess I guess I might as well explain what they are. Um, so, looking at the rule book, the missions that I have for this uh, for A is evacuate two quarters, and these quarters can be partially or even totally infected. Um, so, evacuate. That term did show up at some point while I was reading this, but basically um, a quarter is complete when all its housing spaces are numbered or infected um, uh, or crossed off. And then you immediately score those points and then basically that means they are evacuated. So in this instance, if you evacuate two quarters, then you can um, gain the eight or the three, depending if you're the first person to do it. Uh, mission B, the one I have here, is quarantine the quarter with the green virus and the quarter with the blue virus by closing all the walkways, giving access to them. So you quarantine by marking off um, using the robot action. You can, you can mark off some of the connectors, the walkways that connect uh, the quarters. And if you're able to quarantine, fully quarantine the green virus, the green virus is here. So if you can make it so that it can't go anywhere else, um, then that that's considered a quarantine. So if you were to do the green and the blue, then you could get those those points. And then for the third, the mission C, I have the one that says circle all the plants and all the water tanks on two floors. So there's a total of five floors. If I can circle all the plants and all the water tanks on two of those floors, um, then I could get those points. Okay. So, let's see what's next. Um, I think I do want to try to use these two because it costs. Uh, it will cost me six points per card for Astra. So, <sighs> definitely gonna give Astra the plant. Um, so let's see where I'm going to utilize these numbers. I think I'll play it safe here and do this, put the 11 and then I'll use the energy and circle. Um, so when it comes to the energy, do I get to circle any energy across any quarters? Circle one energy in the quarter where you have written down the number. Oh, okay. So it has to be in the quarter. I, I wrote my number down, which is this one. So I'll circle that energy. Okay, oops. Yeah, these turns are pretty quick, especially when you're playing solo. Um, so definitely want to keep this card somehow. I think I will use the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put the nine here. 
and then obviously taking the energy action so giving the AI or Astra the robot so the energy action there we go so now I have all three mul multipliers filled out for that quarter awesome we have 5 energy, 13 water, 11 plant. Um, hmm. Could probably utilize 13. 13. Hmm. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'll put the 13 here. And then mark the energy since I'll be using that action. Give me the plant to Astra. 1, 2, 3. Alright, um, so we have two planning and a leaf, so I probably should take the leaf and do the 10, yeah. So I'm going to write down the 10 and then circle the leaf. The plant, I mean. Give Astra the, the planning one. We have 8, 13, 15 with robot, astronaut, and robot. Robot will be good. So let's do robot for sure. Um, number 13. I guess 13 could go here. And then I'll take the robot for um, this one. Give Astra the robot as well. So the robot action requires me to close a walkway of my choice wherever on my sheet with a line that would close the walkway. Hmm. So I think I will close one here. So that's all you do, you draw a line. Um, 987, plant, astronaut, water. Hmm. You know what? Actually, when I'm when I mark the plants and stuff, I think I'm supposed to also mark the uh, yeah. So circle a plant and then cross off a plant symbol in the scoring area. Okay, so I gotta do that. So I circled two plants so far, and then that means I I cross that off as well. So when you cross off the first two plants, you go from top top to top to bottom, left to right. And you cross off the score. And then you also cross off the robot and you use the robot immediately. So I'm going to use the robot here. All right. And then um, same goes for anything else I circled that has water. Okay. I don't think I circled the water yet. Okay. So maybe. Hmm. I think I'll put the seven. No. I'll put the eight here and use the water water action so I could circle that and then I'll cross off the water give the plant to Astra okay yeah sorry about not remembering those rules about the plant and water um, but yeah you definitely have to cross them off here in the scoring section when you do gain them okay so we've got 8711 water energy energy so probably need to take the energy so let me just put this aside so I don't even bother so sh Astra will get the water. Um, I'll get and put number 11 here and then circle this energy for the action. Looking good. 6.15.3. Ooh, more energy. Astronaut will go to Astra and I'll add the 15 here, I guess. Unless I could utilize the 6 better. Hmm. Yeah, I'll use the six here. No, I already have all my energy. Hmm. I want to like optimize my moves here. Uh, I think I'll use the fifteen here. I'm sorry, here. Yeah, but that's not water. I'd rather use it with water. Okay. Hmm. I will use the six. <laughs> I'll use the six here, and the energy I'll circle for the action. One, two. Three, six, eight, seven. Um, plant, plant, plant. Okay. 
Let's see what I can do here. Um, I think I'll put the 8 here in a plant. I'll keep the 7. I'll circle the plant. I gain a plant, so that means I cross that out. Do 1, 2, 3. So it's a 4, 3, and 10. Planting and two waters. Hmm. It would be in my best interest to keep the waters, but let's see. Um... Yeah, so I'll take the three, write down the three here. And then I'll use the action of the water, cross that off, cross the scoring off, and then I'll also gain an energy, which I can use anywhere. Um, I guess I'll cross off energy here. Cool. Four, ten, and twelve. Two astronauts and a robot. A robot will be helpful, so um I'll put the twelve here. And then I'll take the robot. Robot action, I'll do this. Okay. There's no logic there, I just put that there for no reason. Okay, two robots, water. I think I will put the 7 here, and then I'll use the robot action, give water to Astra. Robot action, I'll put it here. We have a 1, 13, and 14, then energy, planning, and robot. I will probably want to utilize the 14. Hmm the 14 here and I'll use the energy and then give Astra planning. Oops. Two, three. Okay, we got a uh, Astra card C which does not do anything here I don't think. Let me double check. So for solo it says, oh it does. Okay, whenever I draw an Astra effect Either A, B, or C, Astra immediately activates the green or blue virus or triggers a propagation. Hmm. In this growing area, triggers of virus activations and both still available be between green and blue. Oh, okay. So I'll activate the blue, I guess. So I've activated that. And then... Okay. That's it for that. And I'll draw my, it's an A, it's another Astro card. Oh no, okay, so I think the other one has to be circled then. So I will do mm, green or blue. So I circled the blue, so I'll circle the green this time and activate that. Okay, so we have a one. So I'll do a one with the plant. This way I can circle the plant. Give Astro the robot. So I circled the plant. I cross out the score, I gain a robot. Um, because I s activated these viruses, I want to try to block off some walkways here. Do that one. Plant, plant, robot. I'll do a 9 with robot, the robot action, and I will mark this, 9, 9, and 6, energy, energy, astro dot. Mm, mark here, gain an energy, right, astronaut to astra. Two, three. Oh, we have Astra coming here. 
744 um, plant energy plant. I'll mark a seven here and use the energy action. Plant to Astra. So we have one, two, three. So B. So that means I have to propagate immediately because when you do not have green or blue viruses available to be activated, you have to select a propagation symbol still available and cross it off. And then you must immediately trigger a propagation of all active viruses. So propagation symbol. Um, I guess I, sh I shall mark. Hmm. Oh yeah, when I activated the um, green and blue, I was supposed to also cross it off here because you can't activate it again. Um, propagation symbol, I'll mark off this one. And then I will propagate. So when you propagate, you have to cross off um, the virus that's, uh, yeah, let me just double check because this is the part that was really tricky to me. And let me know if you guys, maybe it's just me. So on your sheet, each active virus spreads one by one. From left to right, starting with the top floor, then going down floor by floor, a virus spreads by infecting a housing in the corridor where it is active. Cross off one empty housing space of your choice in this corridor. If it's complete, with all its housing spaces, numbers are crossed off, and the virus spreads to all the neighboring corridors directly. So, none of mine are complete except for this one, so that's fine. Um, oops, okay. I did complete one, so that means I have to ex uh, evacuate. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 3, so I get 15 points. And I write it down here in the spot that it belongs to, so I got 15 points. And then... I will, something happens there. So once you fill it out all the way, um, you do not earn, first, I circled this evacuated quarter. So, you just circle it. Okay, so this is evacuated. So nothing can get in there. Good to know. Okay, so now that we got that cleared, now we have to propagate. So an active virus from top to bottom. So active virus, this one is active. So we have to mark one randomly here. Okay. And then that one. That's it. Good with that. All right. Now six, seven, nine, I have to choose from for numbers. I'll put a, a six here and I'll use the robot. Um, oops, no, I, hmm, okay. Nothing useful, can I put the six elsewhere? I think so, I think so. I'll put the six here instead. And then I'll use an energy action. Give water to Astra, one, two, three. 10 to 11. Hmm. Okay. I'll put the 10 here, I think. And then I'll use the robot. Give plant to Astro. So I'll use the robot and I'll use it here. All right, last three for this round, I guess. Six, twelve, five. Planning, planning, and robot. Um, I like the twelve here, so I'll use the twelve, and I'll use a robot. Give planning to Astra. So robot, I'll do that. Okay. So now that the deck ran out. I take my discard pile, I'll shuffle in these Astra cards, and start a new deck real quick. Just shuffle these. 
I do riffle shuffle these um, a bit because I think they're meant to be in this game and they're not sleeve. But anyway, all right, so I got Astra's cards here. Continue to leave on the side. And then let's draw three. Okay, let's see. Um, the one might be useful actually. So I'll use the one in the energy action. Wait. Oh no, no. I don't think so. I'm trying to think if I'm supposed to supposed to when am I supposed to propagate? On your sheet, each active virus from left to right if the core is complete all its housing. I'm so confused. So whenever you circle everyone wants only for your damage phase five. Yeah, it's only when there is a propagation, I think. Okay, I'm I'm confusing myself. Hopefully, this is right. Um, so I have eight, eight, three. Um, the three will come in handy here, I think. So we'll use. I think I'll put the three here actually, and then I'll I'll use the planning. So planning, I will place an X here. And that's complete, and I cross that off to market. So this is complete. I have one, two, three, four, five. Five times two is ten. So this will give me ten points. This is evacuated. Seven eight seven. Plant uh, astronaut energy. Um I'll put the Definitely had to keep the energy, I think. Um, oh, oh my goodness, I forgot this part. I gain an Astra bonus in the solo game if I activate any of these. And I've activated one, two. Right? I think so. I think that's what this says. Sorry, I keep referring back to it. I just want to try to get it as right as possible. Whenever I activate a virus yourself with a mission or a plant water action, or you trigger a propagation symbol with a plant water action. Oh, I haven't done that yet because it was triggered by something else, I think. It was triggered by Astra, I think. Am I thinking this correctly? Yeah, it was from Astra's cards. Okay, so no, I think I'm good so far. Um, let's see where I'm gonna place this number. I'll put the seven here, and then use the uh, energy on the other seven. Man, I'm gonna lose bad. Okay. All right, gonna pause here. Got got some dinner to eat. All right, guys, I am back. Let's see what we've got. Okay. 10, 11, 15. I guess I'll put the 15 here. No, I'll put the 15 here. Use the energy from the 11 card. Oh, we got the Astra A. Gotta flip this over since it's the second time we have the Astra card. And that means we have to propagate. So, propagate immediately, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so from top to bottom, let's see. This is active, so we got a scribble. Active, active. There we go. That's it. Okay. Next, um, I will. Hmm. 
So I wasn't supposed to propagate yet. So give me a sec. I believe I had to undo this. Okay, so I did that, did that. <sighs> I don't remember which one I crossed off, but let's just do that. Okay, so actually, when the second time around, it activates the viruses of red, purple, or um, yellow. So let's just do... Hmm... Let's do yellow. Okay. That's good. All right. So no propagation happened. Um, 11, 10, and 12. That'll be 14, 10, and 12. Let's do 14 and use the water. So I crossed this out for the water. Astro will get the astronaut. So 9, 1, 14, two energies in the robot. Probably should use the energies. So let's do nine here and use the energy. Robot will go to Astra. Five, 13, nine. So we have energy, water, plant. Hmm. 13. Hmm, I do want to use the energy though. That's a three. Use the five. And then the energy. Oh, no, the five had the energy. Hold on. What can we do? Okay, just gonna undo that. I think that was a six. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe I. No. I'll put the five here. No, not the five. Oh my goodness. Because I want to try to use the energy. Um, 13. Put the 13 here. And then I'll use the energy. Action. And then put the plant going there. 1175. All robots. Okay. We'll do 11 here. And then use a robot. Um, go there. One, two, three. We have B. So B means mission B gets flipped over. Since when it comes around the second time, just like the A, you do flip it over. Um, and then let's see which virus we have. The purple activates. Okay. And then I will draw a third card. Then we have eight, seven, eight, plant, energy, and robot. So I think we'll do eight. Hmm. We'll draw an eight and do a plant. Unfortunately, we'll gain this energy. I just would prefer to have more plants if possible. Two astronauts and a robot. I think at this point I do want a robot because we are going to propagate at the end of this turn since we got some viruses that got activated. Um, so we got number 13 and I'll use the robot. This robot will hmm, do that one. Then we'll do these three, twelve, twelve, five. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was supposed to propagate. What am I doing? Goodness. All right. So let's propagate before we move on here. Um. So we start from the top, the active. So this gets scribbled out, and then this one is active, but. It evacuated. So I think we're okay there. Oh no, I think we do have to move out. So it goes here. It goes to the bottom, but it's full. To the right, it can. To this way, it can. Then we have the blue virus. This is full as well. Ooh, it was full, so that means it evacuated. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is 12. So this is 12 points, so I don't forget. Alright, so now with the propagation, this will go elsewhere. Can't go up. 
It can't go left, it can't go right, it could go down. And then we do the yellow virus, and we'll just mark it there. Okay, so now we'll do these cards here. Um, let's do the 12, and the robot. So we'll do the robot action here. Draw the next three. Ooh, I do see an Astra card. Okay, so this gets flipped. And then we have red. So we'll activate the red. And then we'll continue with this turn here, 9, 11, and 6. Hmm. Guess we could do six here, and I'll use the other energy. That means this can be fully evacuated. So one, two, times two is four. Only four points there, which is fine. Um, and then because I did uh, activate a uh, virus due to the Astra card, I have to propagate. So this one is full, so it's going to go elsewhere. It's going to go here. And then down here it's blocked off, so it doesn't go anywhere. We have the green, it has nowhere to go. We have the purple, it could go here still. And that's it for that. We have the blue, it will go to the bottom. And then we have the yellow, and it will go here. And now this is full. So 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is 12. Okay, and that's it. That's the propagation. Now I have three cards to draw. Ten, seven, ten. Um, I think I'll grab the ten for th for this, and then I'll choose the energy and not use it. And then this gets activated, I mean, evacuated, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 3 is 15, so that does get 15 points. No propagation, I don't think, because I didn't activate any new viruses this turn. Alright, and this is the last last round, um, 4, 6, 10. Unfortunately, I didn't get any astronauts, so... And I didn't get any wild actions here. Oh well. I definitely did not play this as well as I could have. Um... Anyway, 4, 6, and 10. Is there any way I can fill in this one? Probably not. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just have to place it here. Oh, no, I can't. That's a 3. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm just going to have to place a number somewhere. So I'll place a uh, 4 here. And then I'll use a robot, I guess. Kind of pointless. Robot will go... I don't know if it matters. It'll go here. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so... Let's see. So at the end of the game... What happens? Um, score the points of the lowest visible scoring box for the plant and water. So I have 10. So I score 10 points for the water. I score 10. And then evacuate the quarters. Evacuate all the remaining incomplete quarters and score their points on your sheet. Multiply the number of numbered housing spaces by the number of circled energies. Okay. So this one has one, two, three times two is six. This one has one times one is one. 
This one's 4 times 3 is 12. And then here is just 1 times 2, so it's 2. And then 2 numbers times 2 is 4. And then you add all these numbers up. So we've got 20 plus 50, 50 is uh, 20, 50, 74, 78, 80, 92, 93, I think. That's what it is. And then we have... Um, infected housing spaces. You lose one point for each infected or crossed off housing space. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And in here, I didn't get any of those. And then we get up, we get my score. Well, first off, did I even do these missions? So to refresh my memory, I have to look at the missions. It's right here. Evacuate two quarters. These quarters can be partially or ev or even totally infected. So I do get three points. And then. Oh no, evacuate all the quarters of one floor. I did not do that. I didn't do that. Okay. I, oh wait, I did. One floor. I, no. <laughs> I did do that here. One floor. Okay, so I do get three. B, this one says, quarantine the quarter with the green virus and the quarter with the blue virus by closing all the walkways, giving access to them. I don't think I did that, but let's see. Yeah, this one's open. So no, I didn't get any points there. And then C, it says circle all the plants and all the water tanks on two floors. Definitely, I don't think I did that. Nope. Only got three points there. Okay. So I got a total of... That's... got 106 in Astra let's see I'm gonna write down the level 4 here so Astra is just pretty easy you just gotta count the cards so the robots has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 alright so 7 2 times 7 is 14. And we got energy. 1. Two. 2 times 6 is 12. Then we have plant. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh. Not good. 12 times 4 is 48. Water. 1, 2, 3. Oh my goodness, I think I'm being pummeled here. Got 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I got six. That's eighteen. One, two, three, four, five. That's ten. Four times four is sixteen. Oh no, okay. So let's see what this adds up to. I think I might as well use my calculator at this point. Um so that's fourteen plus twelve plus forty eight. Plus 9 plus 18 plus 10. 111. Whew. Okay. Gosh. Is that right? I thought he, she ended up winning. Okay. 132. 14 plus 12 plus 48 plus 9 plus 18 
plus 10, plus 5, plus 16. Okay, 132, that's more like it. Alright, well there you go. That was my playthrough of... Um, what is this? <laughs> Welcome to the Moon. Uh, this was the sixth adventure. And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I played mostly correct. I may have forgotten to do some steps, especially when it came to activating the propagation after, you know, activating a virus. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, this was definitely the most complex campaign so far. And um, I, I think, I think hopefully they're not as complex as this one because I was a little, a little stressed out trying to figure out how to play. And I feel like it shouldn't have been as complicated as it was with the virus stuff. But um, to me, it was. And I don't even think I... Yeah, I, I didn't even gain enough of a head start to activate any of the viruses so I could even gain the bonus. Like, I just I just didn't strategize well enough for that. Um, but regardless, I did enjoy this, <laughs> surprisingly. Um, I... I normally try to play each campaign at least twice um, just so that I kind of remember how to play. So I might have to replay this one um, at least just for myself so that I could really like drill the rules into my head. But, you know, as the first time playing this and recording it, hopefully it was helpful to you. And if you found that I have made some mistakes, definitely let me know. I will pin it as a comment so other people's other people who watch the video or who are interested in learning how to play the game will, will know that um, I may have played incorrectly. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think this is an amazing game. Welcome to the Moon. I am actually, I didn't know what to expect because, you know, I played Welcome to New Las Vegas. That was great. I didn't end up playing it too much. And it's, it's not that I didn't like it because I did. I loved loved it, actually. And I played it a, a ton when I first got it. And then a lot of other games just didn't match up to it. It was, um, I mean, it didn't match up to other games in terms of uh, how often I was going to play it. Because it just seemed too too easy, too simple. And, I mean, for me, obviously that's a good thing because I don't n normally win my solo games. But um, it, just, it just seemed too simple for me. And I'm glad... Um, they came out with Welcome to the Moon because there's just a little bit more complexity and more, um, I don't know, it feels more dynamic, the the turns that I'm taking. I'm thinking a little bit more differently, and I, I think I like that. Um, I also really like space-themed games. As much as I am not a space nerd at all, I do not know anything about space, except that I'm on Earth. Like, that's probably the extent of what I know. Um... I find that I do enjoy that theme a lot, except when it comes to Gaia Project. Um, that game just does not speak to me. But anyway, um, I am rambling. So I will um, end the video here. There will probably be more playthroughs coming up, but I thought I would post this one um, just in case other people kind of want some guidance. Or I, I mean, honestly, I, I would really hope someone watches this and tells me if, tell me if I'm playing it wrong, because I, I really want to play this right. So, um, yeah, anyway, if you liked what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.